So it is mm, almost five o'clock in the morning. And I'm having a bout of an insomnia. I got Oscar on this side. And King on this side. And all three of my girls are sleeping. And I'm wide awake. This is what happens when my insomnia kicks. Today is Valentine's Day. I think that's what part of, partially what it, what the issue is. And I don't know. Oh. I didn't even feel him go. Out. Hi, Spunky. Spunky. Oh, well, it's one cat down. You know what I'm do coming to do, don't you? Oof. So, <laughs> this is this is comfortable, right? Right, babies? He's my sweet boy. And he will just, I don't know what's going on with the tail, though. Oh, could he see his Oscar? Anyway, I don't know what I just stepped on, but I'll put you over here so you don't start hissing and spitting at each other. So they do it anyway. He's on the steps already. Dude. Hey, stop it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Do you hear him purring? He loves it. He absolutely loves it. <laughs> anyway. Good night, dude. What's the matter? Why? <sighs> Here's Phil. He huffed at me. Dude. Askers. I'm not coming back downstairs. I came up to my room because it is 5 a.m. 
and I feel like if I don't lay down and get some sleep now, I'm not going to. Tomorrow, today is Valentine's Day. back upstairs to my room because when I got up this morning I actually left my camera back up uh, I left my camera upstairs but I wanted to um, show you guys I just checked I just checked my fedex.com and in transit Providence which means it will be delivered today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh. I'm so excited. I hit you with the box. <coughs> that kind of hurt my throat. But it is on its way. It is almost here. I'm so excited. Yay. Hello. I'm trying to get this. Ugh. So I'm wrapping presents, so I have you on my tripod. Are you comfortable? Okay, good. Anyway, so I'm wrapping birthday presents for my Julia. Her birthday is um, next week, a week from today. Yes, yeah, she was a almost. She was almost a Valentine's baby. Um, she was actually not due until I think the middle of um, March. Um, but if I hadn't had her by March 3rd, I think, they were going to take her because she had a two-vessel umbilical cord, which, um, meant that they didn't want her to get too big because they were afraid that something would have been, would have gone wrong or something. I don't, I don't really remember, but, um, so... They, uh, she decided to come on her own a week after Valentine's Day. I actually went into labor with her on February 20th. And she was born at 11 or 9. Um, after all night labor and the doctor not believing me that I was in labor. Um, because I, I had gone in and... Don't mind that sound, that's just my Skype. Um, my the YouTube Orbit Skype people are talking. Um, basically, my birth story with Julia, and I'm not going to get too graphic with it because it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty traumatic birth. Um, I went into labor on February 20th, um, 2009. Oh, excuse me, God, 2006, and I um, went to the hospital, and the resident doctor checked me and said, okay, you're, I think, it, I think he said it was like three to four or something like that centimeters, or I was, I was four or something, I don't know, I was, I know that I was pretty far dilated. But for some reason, they didn't want to admit me or do anything about it. I think because I was early. Um, I wasn't too, too early. She was, I think, I think she was like 37 and 5 or, or 37 and 6 or something like that. Um, 37 weeks and 6 days or 7 days, whatever. So, um, the next morning, they were like, okay, well we can you can either go home and see what happens or you can um you know wait to see what the doctor has to say in the morning and i looked at my 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 birth, my birth coaches and i said we're waiting because i was uncomfortable i was having contractions i knew i was in labor um but i you know they wouldn't listen to me so um doctor comes in the next day, the next morning, and he checks me, 
and I'm four centimeters dilated. And he turns and looks at the nurse and says, like, he goes like this, looking for my IV line that, you know, how, I don't know if you've ever had an IV line, it has this little, this little crank on it that you can like turn the little knobby thing to make it, you know, flow faster or make it flow sm slower. But he, he was going like this, looking for the little thingy. And she goes, we didn't give her one. And my doctor, I, I had actually see, been seeing the, the midwives, but I was familiar with the doctor because he was the one who's going to be tying my tubes. Um, and I had seen him throughout my entire pregnancy because in my doc, in my, um, the practice that I went to had two midwives and two doctors and I would see the doc, the, the midwives, but I, um, was familiar with the doctors. So, um, actually I think I had three midwives. Anyway, this is a side point. Side point. Um, Dr. Ayers was like, what do you mean she doesn't have an IV? She's been here all night and you haven't given her an IV? And they're like, well, we haven't admitted her. He was pissed, needless to say. He's like, you haven't admitted her after all night long? She's been laying here, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, get this IV line started. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, give her some Pitocin. And he taps my knee and he goes, don't worry, Miss Champion, you're, you're, we're gonna have a baby today. And that was February 21st and she was born, I think from that moment, she was born two hours and nine minutes later. So yeah, she, she was a, she was a pretty fast laborer, really fast. Like I'm sure, and then as soon as they broke my water, oh my God. Oi. As soon as they broke my water, it just, I think they broke my water at I'd have to check the baby book, but I think they broke it at like 10.30 and she was born at 11.09. So, ooh, time check. Three minutes. Sorry. So, um, yeah, I'm sitting here wrapping puzzles. Um, she got, my, my goo loves musical instruments and she loves Mickey and she loves Pooh. So these are two really good puzzles. They're 300 pieces of piece but they're six plus and since she's six this year these are these are perfect and she actually got puzzles for uh yule and she's put them together and taken them apart and put them together and taken them apart about five times <laughs> so i figured that to help her with her hand-eye coordination and all that good good gushy stuff um that i would get her more puzzles um, but she likes puzzles too anyway, so. Um, my oldest daughter, well, all three of them actually got puzzles for their birth, uh, for Yule, I mean. Um, Lily is, I think, the only one that hasn't put, pu put her puzzles together. Her puzzles are really cool. One of her puzzles is every little piece is a mosaic, and, and, and it makes one big puzzle that's like one, or one big picture. It's really cool. But... Unfortunately, I think she's lost a lot of the pieces because it got knocked on the floor. Hi, dude! Oh, yeah? What? Hi! He's sniffing. Hi! Hi! Hi, dude! What's up? Yeah, squeeze, squeeze. I love my kitties. Why? Why are your eyes watering? You okay? Stop eyeing your brother. You've been an instigator all day long. Uh oh. Be right back. <laughs> 